Can you hear us or no? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Okay. So we have, we have two to four to six people here. It's great. Okay. And uh, somehow seems uh, uh, we have kept the time at 6.45 today. And we have Nikit is not there. Who's the timer? Who's supposed to be the timer? Okay. So can you see me well now? Yes, I can see you well. Can you tilt the camera down a little bit? So that uh, we are not looking. Uh, yes, perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay. This angle is perfect. And what about the audience? Are you able to see the audience? Okay. Uh, the okay. audience, I can see in the Karuna Karan. Um, unless I spotlight for everyone. Uh, again, can you tilt tilt the angle down a bit for Karuna Karan? Hello, Jay. Uh, Karuna, can you tilt the, yeah, the one you are looking at now down a little bit? This camera. Okay. Uh, us, uh, yes, this is great. This, no, too much, too much. Up a little bit. Yes, uh, no, no, down a little bit. Just down a little bit. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, down a little bit. Yeah, this is, this looks good. Maybe. Okay, Cohen, there is one thing you have to note. Just now you have spotlighted this one. Please don't spotlight it. Uh, anyone speaking will come themselves. You can spotlight the Zoom players. But this uh, camera, if you if you spotlight, then it wants to unmute from us. And the system will have a challenge. Yeah, so don't spotlight Karuna Karan. Uh, don't spotlight Karuna Karan. Okay. Okay. Hello, Ajay ji. I will rename that Karuna Karan to be uh, audience view. Yeah. Uh, Ajayji, the we are uh, Nikit has not turned up today. He is the timer. One minute. Manju, can you double up as timer also? Uh, Manju, I, can time. I can time since okay. I'm watching the time anyway. Okay. So, Bharat, my role is uh, table topics master or table topics evaluator now? Just give me two minutes. Uh, Cohen, can you call Liris? Um, I'm not sure. She said she's joining, but uh, she's not joining yet. And uh, uh, we switched roles with uh, the. Uh, you were the grammarian, and Ajayji was uh, table topic evaluator, and uh, Liris was the table topic master and she is not entered just now till now. But anyway, if we Niris is not joining, then um, Ajayi, you continue as DTM and then we will have uh, we will have a open floor uh, table topic evaluation. Okay. Or after each speaker, you can evaluate yourself only, whichever way you think is more appropriate. So take a decision, whatever is you, uh, whatever you want to do. If you decide, it's easier. So you lead the uh, open floor evaluation also. Okay. So what I'll do is after each uh, table topic speaker, I'll give a quick maybe thirty seconds comment upon what and how this spoke, and yeah. then call the next speaker anyway. Correct. So uh, we have. Uh, Two new members who are uh, one is never attended a Toastmaster meeting again. His name is Mr. Kamal, and I have already told him yes. Can you see Kamal? Uh, he is on the other screen uh, on the Karuna Karan. So Karuna Karan, okay. can you yeah. read that Zoom as audience? Okay, it's audience. It's already there. Okay, so that is the audience one. Okay, and this is the stage one. So, uh, 7.14. President, do we start now? Yes, I guess. When do you want to lead it now? Uh, I just text and call Nerys. Uh, she has not replied, so let's start. Uh, I don't have the, um, the, the mission chart, but I'll just read it off by what I understand, okay? Okay. Uh, it's okay. We can do it next time also. Uh, let it be for this time. 
just introduce Cohen, uh, the presiding officer, and let him. We can continue from there. Okay. Hi, it's seven uh, fourteen. Uh, we let's let's start at seven fifteen. Let's start at seven fifteen. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll start. Again. Oh, it's seven fifteen now. That's great. Hi, everyone. Uh, maybe I should show my face. I should show my face. Can everyone see me? Hi. Yes, we can see. <laughs> um, yes, I'm a, a quarantine in a hotel somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's start. Uh, welcome everyone, especially the guests um, uh, in the room. Thank you for coming. Thank you to all the members who are here. Uh, it's great that we now have a location. And uh, Toastmasters meeting has a, a certain uh, agenda of flow, shall we say, in any meeting. So there's a structure to it, all right? At the start, I, as the SAA of the meeting, we introduce the role holders and also we tell you what the, meeting, the mission of our club and some do's and don'ts, all right? So the, to start off, uh, welcome to Founders Toastmasters. Now we founded this club to enable business people, uh, executives, founders um, of businesses or who run businesses or who aspire to run business uh, to join our clubs so that through the uh, two uh, pillars of Toastmasters, which is communication and leadership, how you as a member can take away the best from Toastmasters and apply that in your business. We also as members offers um, uh, networking uh, within uh, our members and uh, uh, others such that we may um, one day, you know, find our connections uh, be very useful. Okay, so that is the mission of our club to allow business executives and founders to um, advance their communication and leadership skills. All right, now there are some housekeeping rules, uh, some do's and don'ts. Uh, typically, obviously, it uh, involves your phone or any device that makes a noise. Please switch that to silent or if you wish, uh, switch off your phone totally. Um, in some clubs that I have attended, people will just stop and stare at you <laughs> until you switch off your phone. So please, uh, it is just a, a simple uh, um, uh, decorum. Okay. Uh, also, um, when the speakers speak, uh, please uh, just watch. If you wish to take a call, please step outside uh, quietly. Um, what else? There will be a minute of silence. Uh, I think in our club, there may, there may will be a minute of silence where you can give uh, comments uh, to the member. Now, this is not spoken. You can write down a piece of paper or text the person uh, if you know the person's number uh, as a form of encouragement or, or uh, some pointers for improvement for the speaker. All right. We will also have table topic session where we, uh, for those of you who are not Toastmasters, uh, please join in. Uh, this is your chance to shine and to understand the uh, usefulness of Toastmasters, to be able to speak on your feet. I think that's about all. And the last part will be to introduce our presiding officer of the day. Typically, it's the president of the club who will make, uh, who will welcome you and kickstart the whole meeting. May I present to you our president, Eddie Wong. Thank you, Cohen. Thank you. Is on? You switched oh, it up. I switched it up. <laughs> hello, hello. Okay, very loud. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome everybody. Thank you for showing up. You know, uh, some of you guys I seen first time. Some of you guys I seen multiple times. So, welcome to Founders Toastmaster. You know, you guys are. Welcome to join us. Uh, we want to get as many people as possible. So Founders Toastmaster, right? Our purpose is basically help out individual to improve their communication skill, right? So I am actually speaking on the topic to path of success, right? So we want to actually increase our uh, membership. We want to increase our presence in Toastmaster. 
So this is part of my speech today. So I'm going to talk about it later. So I just want to kind of get everybody on the same page and get excited about the meeting so that we can actually move forward and in improving our communication skill. So that's the whole purpose of Toastmaster. Of course, there's networking involved. So that's one of my slides also. So Barat, you are the Toastmaster today. Please come up and take the stage. Thank you. Thank you, Eddie. And it is good to be in a hybrid meeting. Shout out to Karuna Karan for arranging this wonderful venue. Uh, I have done almost 15 hybrid meetings before. And believe me, it has been crazy. Every time I do a meeting, Rohan Hare is with me and we have been struggling to fix up. And here, Karunaji, our treasurer, our club treasurer, he has arranged this beautiful spot where everything is ready. We, it's plug and play. We come and just we start working. Thank you, Karuna Karan. Big shout out for you. Yes. I see some audience here. So I don't need to look back like I did at the V-Start. I can face the audience. There's the live audience and there's a virtual audience right in front of me. A wonderful setup. So big round of applause once again. So this is what we meant by when we had focus to future. We have been struggling for almost nine months before our baby was born. The baby called Founders Toastmaster. Now that it has been born, and we had also done our trainings in our first month. So this is the time we are going to focus on future. And how do we focus on future? We focus on future by doing what we are supposed to do, Toastmastering. And to do this today, in our meeting, we have various facilitators who will, the tag team who will help me to conduct this meeting. Let me introduce you all these role takers one by one. First is our R counter, Rohan. Now Rohan is a Toastmaster from Tungchung Toastmaster, a very relatively new Toastmaster, but took up the challenge. And in six months, he has taken over a leadership role at Tungchung Toastmaster. He is looking at greater roles in the coming days and is planning to Toastmaster to help him increase in his confidence in public speaking. So uh, Rohan, please introduce your role today. Thank you, fellow Toastmasters. And yeah, before I start explaining my role, yes, I am. I'm very pleased to be here at Founders Toastmasters, and it is my first time embracing a guest role, guest a guest role as a guest facilitator in another in another Toastmasters meeting. Now, I'm an R counter, and in in usual speech, what happens is we there may be occasions where we may use filler words such as ours ums and instead as a way as a crutch to help uh, help uh, help us while we try and remember our speech so as an art counter i'll also i'll be noting down the use of words such as ours ums likes so and i'll also be counting on looking at uh i'll be counting repeat words that you may if you accidentally repeat yourself i'll count that however i will not count uh, words if there are you phrases if they're used for dramatic effect. So with that, I look forward to being the app counter for today. And back to you. Thank you so much uh, for everyone's information. Tung Chung Club is also the sponsor club, which uh, help founders uh, in their charter process. And all the members of Tung Chung Club have been coming to our meetings to support in our process of chartering in, uh, in our standing out and going forward. Uh, now, let me tell you one important thing for today's meeting. We have deliberately not publicized the meeting very strongly. We are keeping it at a low key just because we are getting used to it. It's our second meeting after we have chartered. That is why we have same person taking multiple roles here today. 
Okay, as we go along, we will focus and we will make sure that we will increase our club standard to a higher position. So let me now introduce a dual role taker, the club sponsor, who is taking a role, multiple roles today. He is the Zoom master. He is also the timer today. And on top, he is the language evaluator, the grammarian. So let me pass the says to distinguished Toastmaster, Cohen, who is currently in Singapore, struck in a hotel in quarantine, just left Hong Kong two days back. <laughs> High five, Cohen, over to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I will need to, yes, the role of a timer in a Toastmasters meeting is to time the speakers. And uh, for some clubs, we also time the whole flow of the meeting. So, but generally it will be to time the speakers. Now for a normal speech, which is uh, the typical five to seven minute speech, um, at the fifth minute, the, uh, a green light will be, do, do we have the physical uh, light? Can we draw it up or the card or something? Are you able to use the virtual background? Are you able to use the virtual background? Uh, virtual background. Okay, anyway, I'm just uh, message me and I'll show the Ron will show you. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll insert that later into my Zoom. But can you, for the, for the time being, just show the, uh, the green cards, please, the physical cards? Now I'll finish my session and then I'll, okay. Uh, okay, at the fifth minute, uh, the green card or green light or green background will be shown. At the sixth minute, the yellow or amber card is shown. And at the seventh minute, the red card is shown. When you are shown the red card, you have 30 seconds more to wrap up your speech. In Toastmasters, speaking within a uh, limited time slot is important. In fact, this is important for your professional engagement as well. Nobody wants to listen to you know, a, a long drawn out speech. Everyone wants to listen to a crisp, concise and to the point speech. speech. Now this is for a normal speech. For a other types of uh, speeches, for example, the evaluation on the, wait, wait, Bharat, Bharat, on the, Second minute, the green card will be shown. On the on second on, on the second minutes and thirty seconds, the red the yellow card will be shown, and on the third minute, the red card will be shown. Again, the speaker has thirty seconds to wrap up his speech. For table topics, which is uh you know you speak on your cuff, okay, your time is a little bit shorter, right? Uh, the green card will be shown on the first minute. And on one minute and 30 seconds, the yellow card will be shown. And on the second minute, the red card will be shown. Again, the speaker has 30 seconds to wrap up his speech. So uh, speakers should speak within the allotted times. In this case, five to seven minutes, two to three minutes, or one to two minutes. Okay, uh, that's all for now. Thank you, Bharat, and I shall fix up the uh, background, the virtual background. Thank you. Now for the language. Uh, Quinn, would you be introducing the language evaluator role? And, uh, oh, as well? Well, I'm taking three rows tonight, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I am also the language evaluator tonight. The role of a language evaluator is to watch out uh, throughout the meeting for the good use of the language, in this case, the English language. Uh, what is the theme tonight, Bharat? Focus on future. Focus on the future. Um, focus on the future. Uh, okay, so as language evaluator, uh, we are supposed to typically give a word of the day that ties in with the theme. Since focus on the future, I would like to pick on the word future and the word of the day is futurist or futuristic. Uh, the word of the day is a word where uh, members should use um, this word as often as possible whenever uh, any one of you speaks. So that uh, if someone utters the word, we will clap 
or uh, tap on the chair or uh, your, 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 your lap or whatever to encourage that this person has used the word of the day. Okay? Uh, I will also be watching out for the poor use of the language, how we can improve in our speaking. Therefore, the language evaluation, evaluator is somebody who will uh, help you in your journey in better writing and better speaking. So that's all for the role of the language evaluator. At the end of the session, I shall give my report. Thank you, Cohen, for taking up these challenging three roles all together. So audience, once again, when you're not speaking, please keep yourself muted so that we have a very smooth meeting. One important role is a journal evaluator. And today we all, since we are a new club, we will be evaluating ourselves as how we are performing and how we can improve further. And that we will do on a floor evaluation after the all the sessions of the meeting are finished. So the first session was introduction, introduction of our role uh, takers. Now we will come to the prepared speeches. Our president has already given his icebreaker. So he's on to his second speech today. And I'm very excited because he has been telling me he's trying to learn more and more and share his learnings with all of you. His speech is level one, evaluation and presentation. So he will be presenting a speech today, which will be evaluated by his evaluator. Pajal. So Pajal, would you like to introduce his speech and uh, his project? Pajal is our charter member. Uh, he is the outgoing president, uh, the immediate past president for Shaw College. And he's a charter member with Founder Toastmaster also. Thank you. Thank you, Bharat, for your introduction. And I'm very happy to be one uh, one of the people who is joining this meeting. I'm sorry because I, I may not attend physically. And uh, it is very happy to see uh, Eddie is going to share his speech. And this is, uh, the, this is uh, Eddie's second speech. Uh, with the evaluation and the feedback. And this is very important for every Toastmasters to learn from, from each uh, opportunity of the speaking. And then after that, you will have a bigger room for your improvement. And it is very important for all of us to see which part and which way that we can improve ourselves. And, and edit today's speech title is Path to success, actually, it is a very challenging question. Uh, very challenging uh, questions, and I'm very excited to see uh, what is going to shared by uh, Eddie. And I'm very happy to be your evaluator also. Thank you, Eddie. Good luck. Thank you. So, Eddie. Yes. Path to success. Yes. Path to success, Eddie Wong. Thank you. So, let me pull up the slide. Let me pull up the slide and present it. Yes, right there. Which one? Second, that third one, yes. Okay. Can everybody see the slide? You guys online, can you guys see the slide? Yeah, we can see it. Yes. We can. Right. Perfect. So path to success. Oh, it was kind of loud. So, okay, path to success. So I actually recently went to the Leadership Institute uh, training over the weekend. So some of you were there with me, Barad, Karuna was there with me, uh, Pedro, oh, well, a lot of people were with me. So I just want to kind of, you know, provide a summary of what I learned, right? They taught a lot of uh, content. They taught a lot about what Toastmasters is all about, and they taught us you know, how to actually improve ourselves, right? You know, techniques, different things, leadership. So I want to kind of, you know, let everybody know. So these are some of the topics I'm going to kind of talk about. Networking, you know, what is President Distinguished Club? How to actually run a quarterly <coughs> club, right? The path 
way for users, right? All of us that joined Toastmaster, we have a pathway, you know? So the level ones that we were just talking about, I'm on that pathway. I'm on the second speech of that pathway. So all of us that join Toastmaster, we all have to go through this pathway to actually get to uh, uh, improve ourselves in, in practicing. Club essentials and then succession, uh, success plan. So these are some of the things that we're gonna talk about. So networking with other Toastmaster, one of the main purpose of that inst leadership institution is to network with all Toastmaster in Hong Kong. We are all in the same location. We could talk to each other. I get to meet so many people that is part of Toastmaster. Directors, different district. I get to meet you know, other presidents, other officers in other clubs. So meaning, I get to learn a little bit more about what Toastmaster is, right? We all join it for a reason to improve ourselves, but we wanna kind of learn about it and understand. So based on this, I actually attended other people's meetings. I went to Centralers, I met, right? So I, I, I went to other meetings to kind of learn about how people run their meeting, right? So the purpose of all this is to kind of network, to meet people and actually improve on yourself and on top, improve on the club. So this is President Distinguished Club as of July 28th, today. This is our current status. So it's kind of hard to see, but to summarize it, we need to have eight goals or nine goals to actually get the status for Founders Toastmaster. So I'm gonna make it simple because it seems pretty technical looking at this, right? This is available on the Toastmaster website and it tells all club around the world, where are we at, right? We are measured to other clubs in Hong Kong and around the world. So we want to achieve this status, which is the highest status for a club to achieve in Toastmaster annually. So, okay, to make it simple, level one reward to hit level one, we want to align our goals as the club with our members. Our members are encouraged to speak. You know, the pathway that I was talking about, we are encouraged to speak. So if we align the club's goal with the members, encourage them to speak, we hit level one reward. So four of us will encourage to speak just like what I'm doing now, right? We are encouraged to speak in front of the group so that we complete our path, right? One of my speeches, part of my path. So four, of them, four members within our club complete this level one. Second, another four members or the same four members that complete level one, complete level two. So we have to speak six times, right? For us to speak six times, we complete two levels meaning we achieve second goal, right? So level three, two more members within those four complete level three or level four. So that gives us uh, six, no, uh, that gives us four, yeah, that gives us five. <laughs> okay, but right got me. So that gives us five goals completed, right? So this will basically give us select distinguished club, which is the second level to the highest level that we could achieve as a club. So by achieving all this, we get there. So, so by achieving seven, uh, we will get to the select distinguished club, right? But our goal is to hit this president distinguished club, meaning the next thing that we gotta do as a club, right? So why are we all here? Right? We are all here to kind of learn how to communicate. We're also here to meet other people, right? For some of our new guests, you know, we're, we're meeting each other, right? So the whole purpose of this is, is to meet people. So if we align our goals together, having you, the new guest, to join our club, you get to meet new people. Our club needs eight members, right? So if we have eight members, we hit another goal. So meaning, once we hit this goal, we become the president distinguished club. So path of a su success is to basically align our club goal with the members goal. 
encourage them to speak, encourage them to kind of learn the pathway, and then communicate, right? How do we do that? We got to lead a quality club, right? We got to provide, a, a, you know, members and guests a quality club. First impression, right? Just like today for you guys, we want to create a good impression for you guys. We want to create a structured club so that you understand that we're running an organized club and we're running a club that encourage you to speak, encourage you to kind of perform better in the future. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Encourage you to speak, right? So administration, after, you know, leading a quality club, getting all the members together, right? Administration, fellowship, right? Communication, basically putting the club in the path so that we run the club administratively in a way where we hit those distinguished, president distinguished club, right? We, we work the background so that we hit those goals. So that's the main purpose. And then membership, right? We need to align our goals with your goals. So, you know, by talking to you guys, you know, do you guys want to have, you know, other networking opportunities? Do you go on and run some, you know, training sessions? You know, you know, Troy over here, she runs a podcast, right? So, you know, is there anything that we want to align ourselves to kind of help you out? You know, things like that. We want to create that environment for members, right? So that's the whole purpose of it. So these are the paths that I'm talking about. So as a Toastmaster, once we pay as a member, we have a path for us to go through, right? So these are the path. I'm on level one. Let's <laughs> shut down. I'm on level one, and I'm on my second speech, right? So you got level one, level two, level three, level four, level five. So I want to hit level four within my first year, right? So that our club will hit those goals. Right, so I want to be, you know, one of two of our members to hit level four or level three so that we hit those goals, meaning I have to speak every single time. It's going to force me to speak. It's going to force me in an environment where, you know, I might not feel comfortable, but you know what? I'm just going to improve myself, right? The whole purpose of communication is practice, practice, practice. So this is the whole purpose of it. So, Okay. So Club Essential, this is one of the administration tools that we have, right? So basically Club Central allow all the club officers to have a good understanding of who our members are, right? And who are our guests. We could actually go in and actually start communicating with everybody, right? We have contact information. We have all that information available to us and we could track where are we are at, right? So gamification. Right? We all want to improve ourselves. We all want to kind of, you know, do better, right? And as a club, we want to do the same thing. So, you know, we want to actually hit those goals, right? That a president, uh, uh, distinguished club, select distinguished club, and everything else. So basically, we want to actually track ourselves doing that by going into uh, Club Essential. So as you can see, oh, Maybe you guys cannot see. <laughs> so uh, you guys on Zoom, you can see it. So uh, on Zoom, we have to hit five goals, right? Five goals, we will hit uh, the first level of uh, clubs, distinguished clubs in Toastmaster. We need to hit seven goals, similar to exactly what I just talked about. But the main goal of tonight is to basically hit nine goals. Right? We want to hit nine goals, encourage our member to speak, encourage uh, other individual to join our clubs so that we got word of mouth marketing. You know, you talk to your friends, let them know so that they could come and join us. So for you guys, you know, that cannot see the screen, but for Zoom, you guys can see, I post some pictures of what happened at the Leadership Institute. So basically, it's a picture of me and Karuna standing behind a banner. And then uh, you have a picture of the group that was there. So uh, you got different people speaking on the, on the slide. I'm going to move along. So this is uh, Karuna's. Oh, OK. We got 30 seconds left. So I'm going to wrap it up. So this is a picture of uh, the whole entire group. 
me and Karuna is in the back, you know, hanging out, but we are there. So uh, these are some of the pins, right? These are some of the rewards that we get at when we accomplish all this. So I am done since my time is up. So I just want to kind of get everybody excited, right? Align my path to your path. So, all right. Oh my, my, that is a lot of stuff. Taking up a challenge, going to a training, trying to understand, there may be some things missing there, but what is important to see is the challenge and confidence with which Eddie has delivered such a wonderful educational message to us today. Thank you so much, Eddie. Now, bringing on to our second speaker, who is our treasurer, Karuna, again, who has been responsible for setting up this place, multiple roles again. He is going to break his ice. He is going to deliver his icebreaker today. And I will like to call his evaluator, Toastmaster Manju, to introduce Karuna's project to the audience. A high five, Manju. Hello, I'm the evaluator of Karuna's speech. Uh, the objective of Icebreaker is to introduce yourself to a group of audience and to uh, object on any nervousness of fear you may have to present your first introduction. This page is mainly about yourself uh, and it's a beginning of your Toastmasters journey. All the best, Karuna. Toastmaster Karuna, exploring stars and getting lost in the penrith. Exploring stars and getting lost in the penrith. Toastmaster Karuna. So many, many millions of years ago, a star exploded. Fragments of the star went through the universe. Boom, boom, boom. And one piece over many, many millions of years cooled and became this Mother Earth. And many million years have passed by and each of us human beings evolved and each of us came into being from the same star that exploded. Each one of us had the essence of that star that lived many, many millions of years ago. And in each one of us is the same element. We are one. We are one with that one star. My name is Karuna Karan. I'm a Toastmaster, a new Toastmaster and treasurer of this Toastmaster Club. I'm happy to meet all of you. And um, I, this is my icebreaker speak, and I'm going to talk to you about my roles. So I have multiple roles. It's like all of you have many, many roles. I have many roles also. And uh, one of the roles is I'm a businessman. Money, 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 money. I make money. But more important is that I'm a salesman, and I enjoy the art of selling, the deal making. That's what um, drives me when I see what do I do in my business? I sell. And so, and I, as I look at my life as a salesman, as a businessman, um, there is one story, uh, you know, one anecdote which happened many, many years ago again. Uh, um, sometime in my 20s, uh, I had moved to Sydney, Australia. I got a job and I'd, I was in Sydney, Australia. So it's about three months down into the job. And I was working for a multinational company and I was heading a product marketing group in this company. So three or four months down in this job, new place, Sydney, new people. Um, so one of the salesperson, his name is Tony Rosa, a short guy, Italian, stout guy, he comes over and says, hey, Karuna, you remember um, this client called GPC there in Penrith? You shipped them a product a month ago. It's a programming kit for one of the semiconductor ICs. 
uh, the customer is called and he says they've been trying and for the last two weeks it doesn't work. And they're in panic mode because they have a delivery to be done. I said, okay, fine. I can uh, come over there and have a meeting with them and see what's the problem. So he said, okay. I said, when can you, when can we go? So he said, okay, this Wednesday I'm going there. I've got a, I'm, being, I'm trying to get in a, um, a meeting with the purchase director. So the secretary said, come in at 2.30 and she'll try and arrange a meeting for me um, with the purchase director. So you come in there at 2.15. I'll introduce you with the R&D folks and you take it from there. And I'll meet you after my meeting with the purchase director. I say, fine. So Wednesday comes, I have an early lunch. I take my car. Penrith is about, Penrith is a place. So it's about an hour from North Rye where I used to work. So I take the car, it's two expressways. So I start on and I keep driving. And it's two o'clock, it's 2.15, it's 2.30, it's 2.45. I'm lost, I'm lost in Penrith or somewhere around Penrith. I don't know where I am. I'm on this expressway in New South Wales. So I take the next exit, go to a petrol pump and uh, open the map. There's no Google, there is no Siri then in that time and I was in my mid twenties. So then I asked the petrol pump owner, how do I go to this place? So he explained to me how to go. And I called up Tony and I said, hey, Tony, uh, I'm late, I'm, I got lost. So Tony said, okay, that's fine because um, the meeting with the purchase director didn't happen. I couldn't get the appointment. Now I'm heading out for another meeting, but I've set you up for this meeting with this r and folks. So you walk in, you meet the receptionist, she's gonna help you. So then I drive over to this place, meet the receptionist, she takes me to the R&D team. I go in, there's an R&D director who's the founder of this company, one of the founders of the company, the whole R&D team, the management, everybody's sitting there. So they have this big project they're working on and this programmer doesn't work. So they said, you got to fix it. So I go in and I look at it. It just took me a, a minute and I realized these guys have, you know, they've got to place the IC in the programmer and they placed it in the wrong orientation. So all I did was put it out and turn it 180 degrees, pushed it in and switched it on. It got programmed. And they were like, wow, you're amazing. You're a great guy and stuff like that. You know, the purchase, uh, the R&D director is like, oh, in full awe about me. And uh, just then, Another man walks in and he says, tells his uh, R&D director, hey, we got to go, we, you know, we got a board meeting, we got to go. And so this R&D director is still in this excitement, right? Because I've solved his problem. So he says, you know what? This guy, Corona, he's, he just came and he fixed this problem we were stuck in for the last uh, two weeks. Um, so then this guy says, um, and then I pull out my card and give my card to this guy. And he says, oh, you're from Avnet. And then he gives me his card. And I see his card and his card says, He's a director for purchase, Colin, which Tony wanted to meet. So and I said, oh, you're Colin. I said, oh, he says, yes. And then I said, oh, Tony wanted to meet with you. So um, looks like you he couldn't meet you. Are you free next week? So he then pulls out his diary and he says, oh, next Thursday I'm free. Why didn't you tell Tony to come and meet with me? Okay, so then I go back to my office and Tony was like surprised. The whole sales team, they all came out and met with me and they just couldn't believe that, you know, in that one meeting, it just so happened that I could meet the purchase director and I fixed this meeting for Tony to go and meet with them. And I was just this young 20 year old, 20, mid twenties and, and they had this meeting next, the following week. And this account you know, proved to be multi-million dollar account for my company, Tony and the rest of the sales team made millions of, not millions, but commissions on those millions of dollars. But what I took away from that, that episode was that, that excitement, the team spirit, you know, we, we, just, we just were on a rally. You know, I had a meeting for something else and I got this name card from this guy and I was able to fix a meeting for Tony and Tony went in and closed the deal, which brought in a lot of money to the company for himself. So this is what excites me. This is my passion. Selling is my passion. This is one of my roles in my life. I just wanted to talk to you about it. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. Hey, I just come. Well, <coughs> excited. Thrilled. Stars are exploding. And I share the same feelings with him. I also was an IC programmer back in 1980s. Let me give you a futurist look. 
in some time, we will all be flying to space. Maybe the Google would not have the directions in space and we'll all get lost there and enjoy the excitement of being lost in the space. So with this, I, our first session of prepared speeches is comes to an end. We'll have a, we have time for a break, Cohen? Uh, yeah, do we have, let, let's take a photo, like. <laughs> so let's what we photo, will do, like... all of us will come this side so that we facing this and we'll make a circle here and then someone can take a, and with a, a of the, no, but we have to be together, not the screen also. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I can show it. That's okay. I'll just use one of the screens as, as the photo. Okay. Uh, that's too much, too much zoom, I think. Okay, okay, okay. understood. Zoom back out a little bit. And then oh, so you guys I'll just stand come. there somewhere okay. within that screen. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the lady in, yes. Come, come, come. Ladies, yes. Five. Yes. Okay. So, okay, ready? Okay, ready? I will take a put up your best mouse and capture. Okay, thank you. So we have a few minutes break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Uh, especially, I think uh, on the ground, you want to spend some time to mingle around. I think that's important. So we come back at uh, after how many minutes? So how about um, uh, 8.02? How about coming at 8.02? Okay. 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 So just uh, show us a card when, or shout out when. Yeah. Then you're invited on stage. On the road, you're going on a press photographer, put some mic in front. 
and say something, and you go blank. It's very embarrassing. Here it is not. We are all friends. We have gone through this. Right? So we are supporting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also feel that as a listener, I also feel that. So don't worry. Uh, Eddie will get this evaluation. But for me, it's a new thing for him. So, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Yes. so when, once he has the evaluation, I will also give him it. We all will give him on the first one. Yes, I actually send it out on, I saw uh, it. on our, on our chat. So for you, that, you send one out. Evaluation on uh, my evaluation. Oh. Yeah, so if you guys have a chance later, okay. I can send it out to you. Uh, my evaluation. I send it out on the chat. So, so it, don't need to send happening. the form to everyone. Form is sent to only the evaluator. Everyone can type themselves directly to you. I actually want everybody to comment <laughs> so that I can bring it to the next speech. Because the next speech is taking all this and incorporating it into the next speech. That's why I did that. Don't that's why I want to send it to everybody. It was extra I to yeah, I wanted to track it for myself, right? Because Pedro yeah. will give me a, a direct uh, evaluation. I want to kind of get it from everybody. I want to, you know, especially you guys. guys. Anyone wants to have a word? Especially you guys, right? Never done it before. Never even, you know, heard me speak. Right? I want to, you know, get a good straight evaluation. Be harsh. You know? <laughs> Tell me what I did wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, I, you know, like the camera. I, I you know, like the Zoom work. And all that stuff, right? Let me know. Yeah. I didn't get to know you. Come on. Huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. He works from here. Okay, where did, where's the office? Office is in 70 Kumsang Road. Oh, 70 Kumsang Road. Okay, okay. I'm on World Tech Center, just off of the AIA. I'm just, I'm just here. Yeah, just here. Yeah, just off of the AIA. Yeah, just off of the AIA. Someone tell me, was this space this, actually? It's a meditation center. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you're organizing, or you're employed there? 30 seconds to go, we will go here. Oh, you are the part of it. Yeah, okay. Oh, you are the part of this one. Yes, one. yes, this is the, So they were, everybody was looking for the space, and then finally, <laughs> hey, you can use my yes. space. Hey, we're back. Eight zero two. everyone, please. Come on, please. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I think Rohan is coming. This one. Okay. Then we're back on. What do you do? This way, right? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, but I, uh, I have to say this. I have to say open. Oh, okay. Um, I have Western companies to do business in China as a restructure. Okay. Restructure. Yeah, also structure. Oh, structure. Yeah. 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 Also many roles as well. <laughs> uh, we are back now. I'm just waiting for Rohan who has gone down. Okay, no problem. So anyway, Karuna, all attentions here, please. Uh, rest it. Comfortable now? Yes, our, our counter is back. Can I see some energy after some rest? Shake yourself. Uh, yes, Ron, I want to see some action from you also. Yes, because we are now going into the most thrilling part of our meeting where our guests can also participate. And to bring to all of you this session, uh, Karuna, this is okay. I think the speaker is also okay. Okay, okay. that's uh, no problem. So let me introduce our club sponsor from District 98, Distinguished Toastmaster Ajay Hiraskar, who has been a key mentor for the club during its chartering phase. And also, once the club has completed charter, he is going to mentor us to reach all those distinguished points Eddie has mentioned before. He has taken upon himself to prepare some 
lovely table topics and he will do the introduction of his session himself he will also be in the process evaluating you and guiding you how to move forward with this ajay ji welcome to the stage a high five to you are you there to you too yeah thank you over to you thank you thank you bharat and a very very good evening to each one of you out here you've been told this is a very exciting topic and it is exciting it's exciting for me to engage with you and give you something that you can chew upon and present your thoughts in a manner that comes out in an impromptu way and that's such an amazing skill to really build so let's really look at it i want to tell you as a as a futurist right one is supposed to predict what's going to happen in the future and i can definitely say that each one of you is going to do a wonderful job when you tackle this table topic session today now before we go forward let me tell you what is table topics so table topics is a long standing tradition in toastmasters in which we help members and guests to develop their ability to think and organize their thoughts quickly and respond in an impromptu manner i think during the break i could over here bharat explaining to some of you right that you meet a client unexpectedly and somebody asks you a question and you need to respond you are in a meeting you are at a social function and there is something that's put out to you now those are your moments of truth where people are evaluating how quickly can you respond to this so table topics really helps you to develop this particular skill which is so very useful in our professional and personal lives so i am going to be taking you forward on the journey now let me explain the timing sequence that you will have experience as you go along so you see timer that we have out here cohen is on the screen so when you are being called upon to speak on a particular topic at the end of one minute you will see a green background that will be displayed behind cohen like this at one and a half minutes you will see an amber or yellow background like this and at two minutes you will see a red background like this and then after that you get 30 seconds grace and after 30 seconds he will be knocking on the table to indicate to you that your 30 seconds grace has expired so when you come up to speak on stage be mindful that you speak for minimum of 1 minute and maximum of 2 and 1/2 minutes so if you till the time you don't see the green card you should continue speaking and when you start seeing the red card coming up you should stop so that is my recommendation to you to follow is your timing sequence now the meeting of today the theme for today's meeting is focus on the future so i brought you some topics that are really focused on the future and as we go along let me remind you to use the word of the day that we have today which is either futurist or futuristic in terms of whenever you speak try to bring figure out a way that you can include this word in the topic that you are going to be covering out so that is my only request to all of you all so who would like to take up the first opportunity to come up and deliver a speech should i call upon so let let me call upon sorry you have oh fantastic very good can i can i know the, your name please my name is choi i'm choi choi okay great choi so welcome and uh, congratulations on stepping on the stage and taking up a topic right now i'm going to be showing to you a topic on the screen now the first table topic so billy cox he has a wonderful quote focus on your future not on your failures focus on your futures future not your failures guest choi over to you choi yeah okay so uh, the table topic is focus on your future and uh, not on my failures in in this uh, situation yeah yeah Um yeah that will be very challenging uh because I think that is also the reason why I'm here. Uh public speaking um is is a challenge for me. Uh it sounds a little bit strange because my background is being a lawyer so you think that I would be uh, very comfortable in speaking in public. I actually was in the past uh I have many lives as well. And one of the lives was being a Dutch lawyer in the Netherlands. So Dutch is actually my first language. 
and not English. So um, I moved to uh, Asia around 15 years ago. And uh, yeah, there are not many people who want to listen to a speech in Dutch, unfortunately. So I didn't really have a lot of opportunities uh, to, to deliver speeches, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to uh, focus and, and to be uh, futuristic. Um, and uh, yeah, be here to, to focus on how I can improve uh, my public speaking and other skills and, and leadership skills. Improvement sounds amazing as well. I will take that one as well, if uh, possible. Um, and to do that, I think it's yeah important to uh, uh, not too much, yeah, focus on failure. I think a lot of people do that. I think it's very hard to uh, avoid to not focus on your failure. And uh, I think it's also naturally the things that are negative are sticking in your brain in more easily. Well, success, it's yeah, easy to, um, to pause that and, um, uh, and, and, and actually not celebrate that. So hopefully by joining Toastmasters, I will learn like, like now today, because uh, I, yeah, uh, I was really encouraged by, uh, by everyone here to, to pick up with the table topics. And because we have two newer members, so I had nowhere to hide and, um, and everyone has a role here. So uh, yeah, I should uh, do that. Yeah, so um, thank you. And um, yeah, let's focus on uh, the future together and be futuristic altogether. Wonderful, Choi. That was a wonderful speech. I'll give you a quick feedback. I love the way that you moved seamlessly into the topic. I love the way that you connected it to your own personal story in terms of where you came from, what is it that you're focusing upon, and you covered the topic in its entirety by talking about how is it that you focus on the future, but not on your failures. And I absolutely love the fact that you use the word of the day, not just once, but twice during your speech. So that's a wonderful effort. And I'm sure you're feeling so much more relieved and happier now that you made the jump and you've spoken, which is not your first language in English, but you've still attempted that. And wonderful. Thank you very much, Choi. Wonderful. Let's go on to the second speech right now. Who would like to volunteer from the audience first? So our, yes, we'll Kamal. start with Kamal. Kamal? Fantastic, Kamal. Let's see you coming up, Kamal. This is the camera. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Kamal. Hi. Welcome to the table topic session. And just like you saw in the first time around, I'll be showing you a topic on which you have to speak upon, Kamal. So here's your topic that comes up now. Abraham Lincoln once said, the best way to predict your future is to create it. Yes. The best way to predict your future is yes. to create it. Guest Kamal. Yeah. This is what I'm, I'm a great follower of him. So a lot of quotes I have known about him. This one is really very good. And the situation is such now that we have to think about the future and redesign our futures. So this is what I'm thinking. Like a lot of things are happening around the world especially about the COVID and other things, and the things are changing around the world, dynamic, economically and other things. So we have to create our own future and we have to be futuristic. There's no choice. We have compelled to be futuristic. There's no other options we have. This means like you have to create your own future now. Not only us individual, <clears throat> it's all about everyone has to create now, even it's professional or personal, or about global, everyone has to be futuristic and have to redesign things and create their own future. So it's like, sometimes you get nervous, the things are happening. And the first one, which I got from the first topic, table topic, it is really very good. If for you, you need to forget your failures. The first option is that you have to forget your failures and then only you can be able to futuristic or you can be, Futurist, you have to forget your failure. This is what I just uh, complete. I just realized it just now. It was like I was meeting Bharat by. He just sent me the message that I am coming near your office. I said, okay, fine. I said I'll be there by around. I'll be late. I'll be going in the meeting. I said, okay, no problem. I'll wait for you. Then I just finished my work and I just saw the message and it was. I just saw it is like nearby. 
<clears throat> and I message him that is it okay I call walk in because I don't know about TMC much about it. So can I walk in? <clears throat> of course, few times before Bharat Bhai who knew is also we just met him two three months two three years back. He's also moved in to our society. So I just met him and he's quite friendly. So I said, can we walk, uh, walk in? He said, yeah, sure. And the, the, when I walked in and found Eddie, I was so comfortable meeting him and hearing him. You feel so relaxed. Like sometimes you feel just like you have known him for many, the way he speak, the way and Karuna, he, he speak and the feeling he give, that's most important thing. Like in salesman, other thing, the feeling you give is like comfortable. First thing you have to be comfortable. You have to give the other people that they should be comfortable. Then only they can open up. So in your story also, it was like you made them comfortable and you did the work by whatever means, but you made them comfortable. So that's what, thank you for giving me this time to speak out. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Kamal. That was such a wonderful speech. You know, Bharat, I'm suspecting some of our guests are in secret, you know, Distinguished Toastmasters, because they are speaking so comfortably on stage, they are making us nervous in terms of, you know, whether we can compete with them right now. So, you can learn. And you are not afraid and to look at just your failures. You are wanting to predict your future. And you uh, summarize that very well through the content that you delivered with us. Thank you very much for that. Wonderful. Great job. Do we have somebody else who wants to volunteer first? Again, after that now. Okay. I see Manju has put up her hand. So Manju, would you like to go? Okay. okay. Wonderful, Manju. Let's, let's take the third table topic for you, Manju. Over to you. Now, Manju, this is a slightly a funnier one that you can now figure it out as it is, right? The future is shaped by your dreams. So stop wasting time and go to sleep. <laughs> Over to you, Manju. Thank you, Ajay. Dream, dream, dream. Dreams become thoughts. Thoughts become actions actions make our habit that's what was conveyed by our great uh, leader apj abdul abdul kalam sir but these dreams what he spoke about was about the dream the real dream life dream but there is something more exciting there the dreams that we can watch every day in our dreams. Now, if you want to dream a dream, according to physicians, scientists, you need to have a very, very deep sleep. And if you need to have a very, very deep sleep, you can't stay awake. You need to sleep on time and for at least six to seven hours a day to get that kind of wonderful dreams. The dreams that we see in the night are those dreams that is weaved into your subconscious brain and the patterns that are formed by your inner child. You can do a lot of things dreaming. So other day, I happened to attend a college get together in my dream, sitting in Hong Kong. It was just in my dream, but the morning was so pleasant and so beautiful. I could see a lot of friends in my dreams. So if you're ready to watch a dream today, sleep on time. Do not waste any time reading, sleep on time. The future is shaped by your dreams. I can't dream it for you. Remember, it's your dreams. Back to you, Ajay. Thank you. Thank you, Manju, for that wonderful attempt. Uh, Manju, I love the way that you took on the topic and you, without any hesitation, launched off. You really constructed like a mini speech because you began with an opening. 
dream, dream, dream. And with that, what you did was parallel to speaking, you were thinking about what you say next. And then you went on weaving your story. You brought in elements of APJ Abdul Kalam. You really spoke about your own dream, which was a great addition because obviously your own stories really add value to what is the table topics. What's the only element that I could tell you is possibly remember to use the word of the day. I think as an experienced Toastmaster or as a Toastmaster, I think that's something that we should try to ensure that we do that as it is. And the same way, if you're closed off your topic, right? Like you said, dream, dream, dream. Use it in the end. So then I leave for you to go back and enjoy dream, dream, and dream. You know, something like that. So, I mean, those are my quick recommendations for you that you could help you. Fantastic. Who else would like to go in now? Rohan, would you want to try? Okay, great. Okay. We have a guest who's attempting. Fantastic. What's your name, please? What's for the topic? Just introduce your name. All right, what is her name, please? Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Dife. And yeah, this is my first time here. What is your name? Dife. How do you spell that? T S I F E I. Dife. Dife. <laughs> yeah. Dife. <laughs> we don't want to. Okay. Dife. Tifei, welcome to the table topic session. And it's great to see you volunteered to come up. I hope that you'll enjoy the topic that I'll be giving you right now. So let's get into your topic, Tifei. Steve Jobs, again, has said once, focusing is about saying no. Focusing is about saying no. Guest, Tifei. Okay, um, so actually I'm very nervous now. <laughs> and I don't really understand what the title meaning. So the first thing that I picked up is saying no. Um, <laughs> so I think, um, when to me, um, focusing is about saying no is saying no to something that you are not willing to do. So you've got to break through the things that you say no to do, and then you can move forward and be a futurist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, I think this is what I'm doing now. Is like just now I was saying, oh no, I'm not going to do this. And but yeah, just you have to do something that you've said no before. And actually, this has been what I've been doing in the past year. So I've been trying something new that I was thinking, oh no, I'm not going to do that. But step by step, I move. I can't say it's a hurdle, but I just expand my boundary um, further and further, and I'm very happy of all the choices that I have made. So um, yeah, I think that's what that means. Like focusing is about saying no, and um, it's like so. It's actually it's very happy to say no. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, good no, and no, 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 and <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tise. That was a wonderful attempt. And I think, you know, what you really said no to, no to the hesitation of uh, coming and speaking, no to the fear of coming and speaking, and you actually came up. So fantastic job done. I really love the way that you came out disarming the audience by saying, okay, I'm nervous. I didn't want to do this, but I'm coming here. And that really set the tone. And then you connected to the topic and you actually brought in the point relevant to saying, Focusing about if you want to do something, it's also saying no to the things that you don't want to do, which is so very important. A lot of times we get really caught in and doing all the stuff that we don't want. And that is what you did very well. So congratulations. Thank you for coming up and thank you for sharing your own perspective on this uh, topic. Thank you very much. Okay, who wants to come next now? Our young Toastmaster Rohan is coming on. Okay, this Rohan, Rohan. Welcome, Rohan. Thank you. Uh, so, Cohen, you let me know when the timing for the table topics is up. I'll you do just one last speaker. One last one. Fantastic. Okay, Rohan, you're the lucky final uh, table topic speaker right now. Rohan, here comes your topic. Tony Robbins says, your life is controlled by what you focus on. Your life is controlled 
by what you focus on, Toastmaster Rohan. So your life is controlled by what you focus on. I actually have been on the other, other side where I actually had no focus in life. Before, because I used to, I did this in my icebreaker speech, I actually said I was used to be a passive person. And when I was a passive person, I used to, I had no way, no direction because I was just blown, blown by the wind. Whatever I did, I was just focusing on uh, looking, uh, looking out uh, online, doing, doing things what other people did because I thought that was the way to go. But one thing, one thing I learned is being a leader, it will be allowing me to focus, focus on something. And when you, and when you put, when you focus on something, you're putting your resources into making sure, understanding that topic, understanding where, what you need to do in order to achieve that goal. And then from there, when you, when you have a principle on what you want to focus on, you're then going to create the actions you need to do. You have no, you have the, you're, you're going to be making decisions on what you need to do, what you need to do. And then from there, you take on, you then act it out. A simple example would be, let's say my principle is I want to be a healthy person. If I want to be healthy, then what I will do is I will take, I'll make the decisions. I'll be focusing on decisions I need to do in order to be a healthy person. So that may be, okay, I want to be healthy. So I'm going to be eating right. I'll be eating cleanly. I'll be, I'll go to a gym and exercise. And in that action is me going to, going to a gym to actually do the exercise and also eating better. So when you focus on something, yes, I do agree with that, that statement. Your life is controlled by what you focus on because when you focus on something, you are making the decisions. You, you, know, you have the principle in mind. You have the decision, you're make, then make the decisions from the principle. And then after that, you take the actions you require to complete that uh, original task. And with that, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Rohan, for that wonderful attempt. I really love the way that you started off telling us how you were not like this. And from there, where did you really progress? You progressed in terms of sharing with us. How do you really apply this concept? I mean, how did you apply this concept in your own life and how anybody else can do it also? So you really, what we call this, this is, this is saying that this is why you agree with the statement, right? So you say that what is the point that is being made? What is the, do you support it? Yes or no? What is the reason that you support it for? You give an example and you rated the point. We call it the prep model in an impromptu table topic speech. So you really use the prep model in terms of delivering this particular content that you did. Fabulous job done. And I think the same way that I told Manju, please keep in mind, try to use the word of the day. It's a small attempt, but it is that we are on top of the toes when we land up doing a table topic. So can I request the timer to confirm the timing sequence for all of our speakers now? Yes. So we have speaker one, Choi, who spoke for two minutes, 30 seconds. She is within the time limit. Kamal, the second speaker, two minutes, 10 seconds, again, within the time limit. Manju, two minutes and four seconds within the time limit. Dife, one minute and 26 seconds, also within the time limit. And Rohan, two minutes and 13 seconds. Everyone passed wow. wonderfully. Fantastic. Bharat, do we intend to do any voting for the best speaker right now? Uh, later, the voting will come. Uh, okay, fine. Will come the end. Okay, fantastic. So with that, I hand it back. Back to you, Bharat. Thank you, Ajay. Looking in the future. Being futuristic, I can see a lovely future for this club. I never expected Choi, Kamal, and Dife. You have given me the jitters. Even Karuna, who's doing his first speech today, I wanted to contest this time. I am not sure I'll win with this quality of speaking. A little polish, and you are all going to shine and give us run for our money. So thank you, Ajay, for giving those lovely topics. And uh, they were easy enough. 
and yet they had an element where they could experiment also. Thank you so much for this. So with this, we move on to our last phase, which is the reporting, not how we have performed, what we have done. So the evaluations and to lead the evaluation, we will have our Toastmaster Pajan, who will be evaluating Eddie's speech. Pajan, are you there? Yes, Bharat. So everyone, sound is clear? You can hear us well? Yes, very well, very clear. High five to you, over the stage to you. Thank you. Eddie, can you hear me? You can wave your hand if you can. Okay, I can see you. I can see you very clear. Thank you. Eddie, thank you for your good sharing of your speech. Actually, it is a very clear speech that you have clearly outlined it, all the works that we have to do, and then your target, and as well as our vision. And this is very important for our future development, and I'm very happy to hear that, and you are willing to share to all members we have. Thank you. It is a really good sharing and it is a pretty clear uh, introduction. Well, it is also the same issue that I would like to talk about. It is most likely a report or an introduction because I know that it is a very factual uh, speech and you have to pay more attention on how you can connect more with your audience. What I would like to suggest is about the beginning. You may you may fit into the scenario that we have today. Like, let me ask some question. Bharat, where are you from? Uh, are you from uh, uh, Thai on uh, Wan Chai today or Causeway Bay or anywhere? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, I came from Shunwan today. Good, so how about, Ro how about Rohan? I came up. I arrived from Chongchong. Okay, that's great. And and how you come here? Uh, how you get here with different transportation, right? Perhaps bus, perhaps MTR, perhaps minibus, right? But why we why we can come together right here? Because we have the same target, we have the same vision that we join this meeting, and that's why. This is the reason that we get all the people together here, all the founders, all the aspiring uh, entrepreneurs. And this is what I would like to share with Eddie. You can use some more interacting questions to connect with your audience. And by using some, uh, some opening that can fit to the scenario of your speech. And this is how you can catch uh, the eyeballs of your audience and so that they can uh, pay attention to your very factual speech. And this is one of the skills. And the second issue that I would like to share with you is about the usage of the stage. Because it is a hybrid meeting, what you have to consider is not only the a physical attending audience, but also the Zoom attending audience. While you're speaking, uh, sometimes half your head is disappeared because of the camera issue and the angle. So if you can, uh, you can be aware of this and then you can make some marking or you can just go to the stage and then see and check if the Zoom audience can see you uh, for your full uh, faces and all your body. So this is the two sharing that I would like to uh, uh, share with you. Uh, one is about the connection with the audience, and the second one is about the usage of the stage. And thank you for your wonderful speech. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Pajan. I forgot that I am the DME, and you have to stay, hand the stage back to me. So going on, Am I level with the camera? You're okay. Yes. Thank you, Pedro, for pointing that out. For everyone, it's a new system, hybrid meetings. So sometimes we are seeing there, sometimes we are seeing here, sometimes we are seeing here. 
we don't know what is happening. To focus on future, the technology is hybrid. And being futuristic, we have to learn how to address this camera and this audience, the virtual audience and the in-person audience. Thank you, Pejal, for bringing this lovely point uh, in guidance to President Eddy on his attempt. Going on, we are all eagerly waiting the stars to explode again. Over to you, Toastmaster Manju, for exploding the stars for Toastmaster Karuna. Thank you, Bharat. Stars are not born. Stars are made when they communicate. Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters, and our speaker, Karuna, good evening. So I would refer Karuna speech as a star attempt. And in that star attempt, a star was born. Is it little hyperlative? Yeah, it may sound. But let me explain you my, let me weave my expression as well as recommendation along with the acronym STAR. STAR, Karuna is a wonderful storyteller, S for storyteller. As an icebreaker, you may choose to say your story in the chronological order of your life, what happened in your life at different stages of life, at different point of time. But Karuna chose to say one single story with a very impactful excitement and a message in it. So as you say the story, one single recommendation I would like to give you Karuna here is conclude your message, uh, story. Take some more time to conclude your story. Then you can move your story from a great story to a greater story. The second acronym T, Karuna is a good time manager while delivering your icebreaker, especially you had a watch on the time allocated six minutes. And also you mentioned the time when your story happened someday in the, your early twenties, one afternoon at 2.30, 2.15, 2.45 and how you got lost. I really enjoyed that narration. This is the best part of storytelling. You create a visualization with mentioning the time. That's why I tell you again, you are a good storyteller. The third acronym A, star S-T-A. You showed amazing passion in your story. Your story created a lot of interest. Your passion creates interest in the audience. And through your story, through that passion, you could connect to the audience. Keep it up. Now, R, the R of star was your resolution. That impressed me. Your resolution to make the speech success that is important for every other speech as a Toastmaster, as a public speaker, as a storyteller, as a salesperson. This is very important. That is what makes your attempt success. So one recommendation I would like to give you at this point is if you would like to take it one step ahead, you may uh, request for recommendation from a mentor. What can I do to make my story a better one before the speech? So you are a star, a storyteller, time manager, amazing passion, our resolution to make it success. All the best for your futuristic success. Back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you. I think I, uh, the, as the stars were exploding, I did not introduce our star mentor. Manju is the club mentor, also the charter member. I gave a round of applause to her for this evaluation for Karuna. So with this, we go on to the reports. So Quaid, are you ready for your report or Rohan? Are you ready for your report? Yes, I'm ready. Um, 
So we're starting. Let me start with Rohan, and then I give it back to you. So the R counter report by Rohan. So thank you. And yes, I had fun being the R counter. And so just to recap, so my point, uh, my job is to catch a uh, note down the amount of filler words you may use, such as ahs, ums, or any sort of repeats, unless they're being used for dramatic effects. So first, uh, Eddie, I noticed that you'd used uh, two ums and around eight ers, but then they were very short. So then it felt that, so I didn't really notice it unless I was like looking for it, you really wouldn't notice it. But I did note that you had some repeats. You mentioned for around seven times, you used the word like right, like as sort of like a, as a filler word. And also, I noticed that when you were speaking, you also you also end, ended some of the sentences with you know, um, and you mentioned that around around uh, nine to ten times. But of course, in, this is not really a bad thing, and I mean, as long as, and uh, unless you're really searching for it, it it didn't affect the speech in any sort of way. Now, moving on to Karuna, so. In your speech, uh, you had mentioned the word um at least uh, seven times, and you mentioned the word like once. So moving on to the table topics. Choi, um, for you used around um around six or seven times, and you also used the word like er, uh, other filler words around eight times. You also use the word, you also use like as a filler word uh, twice. But again, uh, over time, over time, you'll learn, you'll, you'll get better and you try and use the word, uh, use these filler words as less as possible. So Kamal, I noticed I used the word er like ums and ers like once. But you also, but you mentioned, you, you said the word like at least six times. Again, it's not really a, huge uh, impact on your, did not have a huge impact on your speech. So Manju, I actually noticed in your speech, you didn't use any sort of filler words. And the reason for that was, I noticed that you took pauses before saying, when you're about to, when you were struggling, you, when you were sort of struggling to uh, think about what to say next, you took a, took a pause for a while. So and that's why you did not have that many uh, filler words or actually had yeah, none. Um, so, Sifei, uh, you used the word, you used the filler words um at least six times. I used the word like once. Well, I'll move on to myself. I do notice that in my speech, I actually, re I actually repeated some words twice. For example, when I was talking about having principles, uh, decisions, and actions, I kept saying, repeating that, oh, I need to be healthy. I kept repeating it twice. Or three times without any dramatic effect. So that's something I need to work on. Now with that, back to the Toastmaster. Hello. Give a round of applause to our Rohan. Four months, is that it? Yeah, join the oh, uh, April. Yes, so four months and he's listening. Would you believe it? How many us and arms he counted? There are almost 70 or 80 altogether. It's not easy to count. It's not easy to understand what is being said. And at the same time, note down these us and arms and these filler words. This is the beauty of Toastmaster. And Rohan, you are really doing a great job. Keep it up. And with this, we go to the experienced Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster, Cohen, who has taken multiple roles today. And he will not only be giving the timer report, he would also be giving the report for grammar, the language usage. Over to you, Cohen. High five to you. Thank you. I shall first deliver my timer's report. 
for the two project speakers. Eddie, you spoke for seven minutes, 45 seconds. That's uh, past the 7, 30, 7 minutes and 30 seconds limit. So please watch your time. Uh, the last time I've shared this with you, please do practice your speech so that you are more aware of your time. Karuna spoke for seven minutes, 25 seconds. So in a contest, you will be eligible to be judged and voted upon by the judges. The two evaluators, Tejo spoke for three minutes, 27 seconds, and Manju, three minutes, 29 seconds. So they are all very experienced and they are spoke within the time limit. The table topic speakers, we have already mentioned, all of them are eligible for voting. Okay, uh, we shall do the voting later. Thank you very much. Now I shall deliver my language evaluators report. As I mentioned, my job today is to listen out for the good use of the language and point out to you what are some of the uh, areas that you might want to look into and improve. First up, word of the day. I am very, very, very happy that quite a number of us use the word of the day, futurist or futuristic uh, today. We have Bharat who spoke twice, AJ more than twice. Because uh, you repeated the words. <laughs> and Dife twice as well. Let's give a round of applause to our speakers who gave this. This is good, this is good. All right. I will go, I will use a chronological approach. So from who spoke what first, and I shall point out to you what uh, you spoke well and what you can work on. Eddie, you spoke you use something called a triad. That means a power of three. You said other presidents, other officers in other clubs, although you should put the others um, uh, to start each of your phrases. But I, I do like that. You said align goals of the members with the club. So as the word align to make it into the straight line so that uh, the, the members will, uh, will deliver what the members want. And you mentioned hit goals. Now, it, this is, I think, colloquial. Uh, it has become uh, very common, uh, but its meaning is really to achieve the goals. So in a formal set, in an informal setting, you might like to say hit goals. In a more formal setting, you might like to achieve goals. Now, you use the word gamification, which is very common today. Everything is gamified. Uh, we should, uh, we would, uh, uh, do something to gain like a, a reward to move on to the next level, such is our uh, <laughs> technology in society today. Now, uh, Rohan mentioned, what are some of the things that you can look into? Rohan mentioned about pause fillers. Here are the pause fillers that you used. So you use kind of, right, you know, actually, so okay. Please be aware, in, in a formal setting, this might not be uh, something that is um, desirable, if you, especially if you deliver a report. That's all I have for you. Now, Karuna, I very much like uh, the, your use of the language. You use fragments of the star, okay, when it exploded. So this is uh, all very vivid words, right? So when something exploded, you know, all the small little parts, you know, burst out. So these are the fragments. And you use many, many million years. Now, the many, many millions to some people might feel it is a pause fillers because the one of the many is unnecessary. In fact, two of the many are, are unnecessary. But I felt that it, add, it added effect to the million years. So many, many millions. So it is a very long time. And you said we are one and one with that star. I don't really know what that means, but I felt that it is the star. We have become the star or the star has become us. So we have become one. You use the word money, money, money. Again, try it to repeat, to, to emphasize the word. You use the word, the phrase, enjoy the art of selling, what drives me, and anecdote. So good use of the language. Uh, keep it up, Karuna. Now, AJ, you have spoken because you, you are the table topic master. You use a lot of words. Uh, I will say what you uh, mentioned when you uh, evaluated the table topic speakers. 
you mentioned something like long, long standing tradition. Tradition, it is already formed over a period of time. Long standing, that it means that this tradition has started a long time ago. You use the words moments of truth, how quickly you can respond, and so very useful. Although, again, I felt that the word so very useful to some people very is unnecessary, but I felt it added effect to what you say. Choi, Choi, you, as you mentioned, you have many, many lives. One of your lives was a lawyer. Okay, so I like that. One of the things that you really want to look into is your pause fillers. Uh, this comes unconscious, like me. I just did an uh. Ah, uh, uh, um, so, and, and. AJ, in your evaluation of her, you use move seamlessly into your topic, you spoke in your entirety, and you seem relieved and happy. Kamal, you used, you mentioned professional and personal lives. So these are, although it's our lives, but it could be split into compartments, compartmentalized. And you said comfortable hearing him. Now, hearing is a faculty of our senses and one of the senses as they can make you feel comfortable, it okay, makes the whole you feel comfortable with a person. That's where connection is. Manju, you, is it Manju? Yes. You said dreams, dreams, dreams. Again, the power of threes. And you said from the dreams into thoughts and into action. So connecting parts, again, power of three. And I like you said one of the phrase, Dream a dream. Now, immediately, I thought of the song from Les Miserables, I dream a dream, da 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 da. <laughs> that was a long time ago. You know, I, I love that song. And you said, weaving your, oh, no, AJ said, weaving your story. So a story, when you said weave, it means that an author or a speaker needs to think about how to make uh, every threat you know, uh, into a purposeful piece or part of, for example, a shirt. So when you, we use the word weave, it suggests uh, complexity, but it also suggests plan, planning and um, thoughtfulness into the way you speak or you write your story. Uh, Dife said, breakthrough to saying no. So that was good. Uh, AJ said, no to hesitation and no to fear of speaking. Rohan, you said, no focus in your life. You were a passive person. You had no direction. You were blown by the wind and you just did what other people did. And if you notice, he said this all in one sentence or in two sentences. So it gave emphasis in really that he really had no direction. So he was trying to emphasize it. That's why it rolled off his mind, rolled off his mouth, like, you know, in, in sequentially. So that was good. Bharat used the word run for money. Yes, makes our money worthwhile. And Pedro said, you connect more with your audience with interactive action, you know, the connecting part. Just like uh, when Kamal said, you know, comfortable in hearing or seeing that person, the connection part. Manju, again, in, his, in her evaluation, used the acronym STAR, S-T-A-R, Storyteller, Time Manager, Amazing Passion and Resolve. And you said, stars are not born. Stars are made when they communicate. And in this case, the star referred to the person. Okay, so I am very happy to deliver this report. That is the end of my report. I did find really that there are more good use of the language than um, uh, the poor use of the language. So again, to summarize, one of the things that we as pu public speakers can look into or, or be more conscious of is our pause fillers. Most of the time it's unconscious, but like one of um, you mentioned, that uh, right, uh, Rohan mentioned, the case or the example of Manju, before you speak, or you can speak slower, but before you speak, you can take a pause, collect your thoughts before delivering what you want to say. And with that, I did room my report. Thank you. Thank you, Gwen. Uh, that was awesome. Again, showcasing what active listening is all about. Listening, picking up those words. Believe me, I have tried to be a grammarian five or six times 
and half the time I simply finish the paper I am writing on. Coin, could you just tell us how much time did you use for your language report? Eight minutes thirty seconds. I Eight minutes thirty seconds, and that is two over. minutes over. Why I ask you this? I was discussing with our club mentor Ajay yesterday about how much time a language evaluator would use in a normal meeting for a normal club, especially a club like ours, which is a new club. Three minutes would be more than enough. Maybe there would not be enough language usage, but if Cohen has been able to pick so many good words today, that shows the quality of our meetings. In advanced clubs, they not only use the word of the day, they use idiom of the day. And then further down, Ajay was telling me, there's another thing which I could not understand, the use. And then even they'll take six to seven minutes to report. So big round of applause to everyone for doing good on language. Each of you is a gem. You just have to discover what you already have. Uh, Cohen, how are we doing on time for the meeting? Um, we have five more minutes. Good. Let us pass on to Eddie. How much time? We have five more minutes. Let's pass the time to Eddie. Okay, so uh, could you launch the poll, please? Yes. But uh, the members here, how will they vote? Oh, you're right. <laughs> no so Google. <laughs> But never mind. Uh, you can watch you can write on a piece you of paper. Watch if you can watch that to Eddie. Uh, which poll we are doing today? Uh, I only have the the Zoom poll. No, no, but uh, our, because we have only two speakers and two evaluators, so okay. let us do only the poll for table topics. Sure. Uh, even with two speakers, we can vote if you wish to, uh, as an encouragement to that person. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So uh, just everyone, please vote to by WhatsApp to Eddie, and Eddie will pass to Cohen. And uh, people on Zoom can do that. Let me vote here, but my vote would be seen then. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, I'll I'll turn it around, but then there's another screen there. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You. No problem. No problem. Actually, we can add one more, which is the best facilitator amongst the... Uh, uh, it was in the poll, but I removed that uh, in case uh, it was too much. We send it to Eddie or we send it to Cohen? Uh, you send to anyone, Cohen or Eddie. End of the day, it has to go to Cohen. Uh, those who, to those of you who has my number can send to me. Who's the best speaker, best uh, evaluator, and best table topic speaker. So you can see the list there. There are two speakers. Eddie and Karuna, just write best speaker, one of the two, then best evaluator, and then best table topic. So next time we will remember to. Okay, can I pass a resolution today uh, here? That can we extend the meeting for 10 minutes? Yes. Okay? Is everybody okay with it? Ajay, you might have another meeting after this one. But yeah, but 10 minutes, 10 minutes we can do, not an issue. Uh, is Naveen there? I saw Naveen. No, Naveen is not here. Okay. Uh, best table topic speaker, there are five people, right? There are five people. Uh, Joy, Kamal, Manju, Rohan, and Tifia. Tifia first. Tifia, then Rohan. So meanwhile, while you vote, I would take this opportunity to bring to everyone's attention, there is a role called general evaluator, which will evaluate all those who have not been evaluated. And today we have decided that we will have an open floor evaluation and I will lead it. So beginning from, uh, I can close that one, that phone is there.
so if the poll is completed or five of you have uh, then you can do that and everyone is sending you so come on you have sent to me so let me forward it to are we done we are done i can announce the winner no there is one coming from me uh, from kamal which i which i have sent to you cohen yep Okay, so um, uh, while our friend calculates the votes, counts the ballots, so let us uh, begin the. So I was telling you the role of a journal evaluator is to evaluate the meeting in general, and the role takers who have not been evaluated, like the TMD, which is myself, like the table topic master, and any other role which was not evaluated on the evaluators. who evaluated the speech so as we have a open floor i give you 30 seconds each whoever wants to comment first on the role of the tmd which is me toast master of the day so anyone goes first manju ajay cohen anyone from the audience pejal any comments on the role of the tmd which is me so good energy uh, bharat as always and obviously that really puts a very positive spin to the entire meeting a very interesting theme which was uh, interesting and relevant from an entrepreneur or a founders kind of a club and uh, a good effort to make people feel inclusive in the process so i think those were the things that you did well only a quick feedback use the theme to build upon in terms of taking introductions or something like that so the theme is a little bit more than just a name or or just talking about it so that's your only feedback to you thank you so much anyone else uh, um well i didn't miss it like why you there like some moments when uh, after a speech was done like after a speech or uh, or about issue was done you forgot to go back to the front to go back to the front and then you know to then segue to the next uh, next speaker thank you so much rohan so this is we are all improving and as it is as i mentioned before this is a meeting which has been going uh, which we could have confirmed only on the last minute first time new venue lot of stress points and coming here listening to all you speak i forgot everything uh, but that won't be an answer coin uh, would you go ahead and reply to rohan or any more feedback Yep, uh, I think uh, from from what I see um, today, the this the topics was the topic was really really uh, sorry the the location was really uh, good, and uh, the setup is very good. Uh, so I, I, it gives me confidence that we can uh, continue to use this location for our meetings. Wonderful, wonderful. That is a wonderful outcome. So going next to the table topic master. Anyone wants to go for it? Some uh, points of AJ, you done an awesome job, right? It's unprepared, and you presented us a slide and graphics. So awesome in preparing us with table topics and all the all the topics that you you brought to the table. It makes sense, right? And it's meaningful. That's the part that actually got me. It was so meaningful. It was quote from famous people. So I love that. And you know, with such a little time, you prepared all that. So you know, we just turned you into table topic master at the beginning of the meeting. So you did that within minutes. So that was great. Ajay has been trying to switch between table topic evaluator and master because we were not sure. and about the hybrid settings and if you would be able to perform here or not but then again not only in the end he took both the roads which showed what 
Toastmasters teaches us how we can stand up to any challenge. And he has very aptly shown, and I hope everyone in the future would be as strong as what Ajay has showcased today. A big round of applause to him. Uh, Bharat, can we move on? Pardon? Can we move on? Does yes, up to you now. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, no, as in move on with the agenda, please. Uh, no, so we have to evaluate Tejal and Manju and the R counter, timer, and the grammar. Um, One minute each for. Let's finish it very quickly. And then the award and the closing. Any feedback for Pajal or Manju? Yeah, just keep it uh, I like uh, Pajal's um, um, evaluation. A um, little bit I got, uh, you know, when he, when he asked about where did you come from um, uh, to uh, Bharat and uh, to Rohan, I was kind of confused. Why is he asking? Because I had actually not followed him. But then I understood what he was trying to uh, teach um, our President Eddie that he needs to get uh, the audience interacting, which is a beautiful way he, you know, he actually made an example and he showed it. And it's a good learning for me also. Um, so, Pajan, that was great. And uh, Manjo, I don't know how you did it. I, you came out with a beautiful speech about uh, my evaluation. You came with an acronym and uh, it was lovely. <laughs> uh, so, thank you both evaluators. And uh, Cohen, you've been amazing. You've done multitasking. Uh, only one thing, grammarian, you you just cooked up the word. You just, just <laughs> on the fly sitting in the meeting. Um, but it was a good word. <laughs> well, when we are evaluating, one thing is very clear. We are not only addressing Manju or Eddie, it's the audience also where we see that how they have done well, not only giving them challenges to improve further, but also showcasing to the other audience, look how we can do it better. This is wonderfully done here. Again, like I said for our counter and for the evaluators, especially for the big shout out for Cohen, it is not easy to be a grammarian. Not easy to be a grammarian. And taking three roles together, and that on the last minute, yeah. big round of applause for so, uh, with this, I think we have come to the end of the session. Yes. One last uh, feedback from me on the meeting. We are young. Let us focus on future. Let us take roles well in advance. Let us improve our meeting quality. It was a big success. Our meeting today was a big success. Let us not become casual about it. Let us take it to the next height. With this, uh, I will ask Cohen to announce the best winners. Let us have some drum rolls and then we announce and- uh, President, please uh, be ready to present, uh, you know, shake your hands or whatever with the, uh, I will announce the winners and President will present the gifts if, they, if there are any, and then he will do his closing address. Now, for the better speaker. Come roll, please. The winner goes to Karuna. Yay! Maybe uh, we should have, have some ribbons. Uh, we do have some ribbons. Yay! <laughs> okay. No, no, you have to stay. Uh, just, uh, okay. just stand stay. It's okay. Which camera? This camera. Okay, just I'm going to take a picture. Uh, hey, it's uh, what the... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Uh, that's okay. a good one. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Done. Okay. No, it was active. Next, for the better evaluator. And the winner goes to Manju. Hey. You have to go there. Manju. And you spotlight both together. Manju and I spotlight both. Let me let me hang on. Spotlight. No, no, here. See you spotlight. spotlight. Just one minute. Yes, yeah, spotlight. Yes. Okay. And one, two, three. Capture. Next, we have the best table topic speakers. Drum roll, please. Oh. 
and the winner goes to Choi. Yay! Okay. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. Anyone hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Do we take it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Microphone. The microphone. Oh, you say yes. Baba. Yes, yes, yes. We, yes, can, we hear can hear you. you. I think his connection is here. Well, everything is okay. Yeah. You have capture? Capture? I think he's gone. So funny. Like everything goes well <laughs> until this last minute. I, I, I'll, I'll capture it for you. Something is wrong. I'll, with my I'll do. I'll do. Something is wrong with my connection. Do do? Yeah, Manju, please. Yes, done. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So with this, we come to the end of the meeting and I hand over the stage. Thank you, Eddie, for giving me the chance to be the TMD today and over to you for the closing remarks. So thank you, everybody, for showing up. Thank you for coming and joining us. And, you know, for our guests, thank you for showing, you know, to kind of learn a little bit more about us, right? So we want to actually make this such a friendly environment where you could practice and you can learn, right? And you can meet other people that have the same mindset. And this is the whole purpose of Toastmaster, right? That's why I joined, right? So the purpose of this is to kind of, you know, develop yourself. So with that, you know, we already went over time. So we're ending the meeting. So we'll call it an end. Uh, okay, end the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Announce the, the meeting, the next meeting state, please. So the next meeting date is... Fourth Wednesday. 11th of August. 11th of August is the next meeting. I uh, think second, it's a, second oh, 2nd of August. 2nd Wednesday, 4th. 11th August. of August. 11th of August is our August next meeting. It's our next meeting. Second I Wednesday. think it's going to be a Zoom meeting, right? Yes. It's going to be an online meeting where, you know, we could all log in on Zoom. So we're not going to be a physically meeting. So uh, the next meeting is going to be a Zoom meeting. The meeting after that is going to be physical. So we're going to have one other. Uh -huh. Do you want to try this next week also? Next oh, no, next week. Next, next one is Zoom. Next one is Zoom. So August. Okay. Thank you, everybody online. Uh, thank you for showing up and thank you for your participation. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day. Good night. Uh, bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, Manju. Bye, thank Manju. You, Thanks, Pajal. Thank you, everyone.